Hello everyone, Miss Nikisha here from the Long Branch Free Public Library, and today I'm going to be reading a book about Labor Day. So Labor Day this year is on Monday, September 7th, um, and I'm just going to discuss, I'm going to read a book to find out what exactly is Labor Day. So this book is called Holidays and Festivals, Labor Day. And it was written by Rebecca Risman. So, what is a holiday? People celebrate holidays. A holiday is a special day. Labor Day is a holiday. And Labor Day is in September. The story of Labor Day. Long ago, many people worked in factories. Factories are buildings filled with machines and workers. So here's a picture of a worker in a factory. People made many things in factories, but factories were dangerous. People could get hurt working in factories and people did not earn very much money. Factory workers needed to stand up for themselves. And I also want to point out that these are kids working in a factory, and they seem to be about 8, 9, 10, around there. They started to form labor unions. Labor unions are groups of workers that stand up for their rights. These labor unions helped workers make more money Labor unions help workers stay safe at work. So here we have a doctor and a nurse looking at a woman here to make sure that she's okay because she looks like she might have hurt herself at work. Peter McGuire was a union leader. He wanted to a day he wanted a day to be thankful for American workers. In 1882, America celebrated the first Labor Day. And here we have Peter McGuire. Celebrating Labor Day. On Labor Day, most schools and businesses are closed, so the library will be closed for Labor Day. People spend time with family and friends. I will be spending time with my family and friends. Of course, six feet apart. People spend time outdoors, and people watch parades. People eat picnics together, and people are grateful for all of the American workers. Labor Day Symbols Labor unions are symbols of Labor Day. American workers are symbols of Labor Day. And Labor Day is the first Monday in September. And that's the end of our story. So I hope you have a better understand of what Labor Day is. And some of our workers that we celebrate or thank are firefighters, our mail carriers, police officers, um, teachers, and they all work and we all appreciate them. And this is a celebration, celebrating them and thanking them. So today, our craft is going to be a little something. Uh, it's a community helper puppet. So I'm just gonna show you the picture of what it's gonna look like. Uh, so here we have a firefighter puppet and here we have a mail carrier. So today we'll be making the mail carrier and the things that you're going to need. So I'm just going to adjust my camera so I can show you. Moving down to the table. Just move that back a little bit. Okay, so you'll need a sandwich bag. I didn't have a sandwich bag. So what did I, what I ended up doing was folding this one in half and then I just cut it, um, cut it along the side. So you want to do that. So I already did that. So I cut it along the side, so it's half the size. And then I fold it. 
and I just folded the top here so that we can have, so that later I can put my hand inside and I could have a puppet with its head going up and down, up and down. Um, but I have to put a little bit of tape here on the side. So I'm, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put a little tape. So you'll also need tape. Maybe, maybe not. If you have a sandwich bag, you probably won't need it. So now my bag is closed and I can put my hand in there without it opening on the side. Um, you'll also need scissors, glue, liquid glue, and then I have a glue stick. So I have both just in case to see which I prefer. Um, we're going to need eyes. So you can either draw your eyes on or you can use a sticker. I have a sticker here or you can use googly eyes. Um, then you'll also need construction paper. So I have black for the belt and the shoes. I have white for the shirt and the mail that our mail carrier will be carrying. And then I have blue for the uniform. All right. Oh, and then I grab markers for coloring. And uh, I got some of this. I grabbed, I think I'm going to have my mail carrier with long hair. So we'll do that. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing our hat. So I just had scrap construction paper lying around, so I always like to use that. So I'm just going to do this freehanded, but I will have a, temp uh, a link in the description that will take you to a template for um, all of our workers' outfits. So I'm just going to grab a marker. And we, what we want to do is we're going to draw a straight line on the bottom, like that. Then we're going to draw a half circle at the top, like so, and connect. And then we're going to cut that shape out. All right, so let's cut this out. And then this is going to be our hat. And we are cutting. So we have our hat. Next thing we need to do is we need the uniform. So we need a shirt and a pair of pants. So we're going to, I have more scrap paper. So what we're going to do is, so I can get about what size the pants should be, I'm going to put my paper on top of my construction paper and then we're going to draw what I need. So I'm going to keep the bottom and the top as one piece so there's less cutting for me. So at what should be the bottom of your page, or what would be your legs, we're going to draw a triangle. So it can be a big triangle, it can be a small triangle, it could be whatever you like. So we're going to do that and then we're going to cut that triangle out. And then we're going to do same thing at the top. We're going to put a triangle up here because that's going to be the collar. So, but this time our triangle is going to be pointing now like that. Okay, so we have to cut that out and that out. All right, so let's cut. So this we're going to cut right on the line like that. So we have that triangle and put that off to the side. And then this one, we're just going to cut across like so. And then we're going to cut this triangle out as well. Okay. So we have our top and we have our bottom. This is a little bit extra, but when I glue it onto my baggie, I will cut the extra off because I don't want it to be too short, so I don't want to measure it right now. Okay. So now you're going to pick your top triangle, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our white construction paper. We're just going to cut a little section like right that. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it behind our triangle like that. So we'll have the white shirt being shown behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this together. I'm going to just cut this little piece off because I won't need it. Um, I think since this is kind of thick paper, what we'll do is I'm just going to put 
a little bit of glue here like that squiggle wiggle 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 and then we're going to take our white paper and we're going to do that okay. so that's all done we're going to let it sit and dry and now it's time to do our uh, we need to cut out our arms so with the, the extra uh, scrap paper that I have, we're just going to cut out little rectangles. Now oh, I got glue on my finger, so just wipe that off. We're going to cut out rectangles for our arms. Um, we need two, not one. So I'm going to grab another piece of scrap paper. I'm going to put them together. I'm going to put two together. If you have your paper, you can roll them and cut them at the same time. So we're going to cut like so. Okay. So now we have our two arms. All right. And with the extra piece of bag that you have, it slips my mind for a minute, we're going to draw our hands. So in the picture, he, our person has just a round hand, so we're just going to do the same thing. But this time I'm going to draw this. So I have it lined up so I know how big my hand should be, and I need two of these because um, our carrier has two hands, you can do one if you like, it doesn't matter. And then we'll do a half circle like that, draw a line, and then we're going to cut this out. So I have it folded, so I have two pieces here, um, so I'll just do it all at once. Alright, so we're going to cut this out, and these are going to be our hands. Beautiful. Now we have our hands. Now we have to attach our hands to our arms. All right. So we're just going to use a little bit more of the liquid glue. I'm going to like that, just on the edge here. Just a little bit of glue. We're going to attach this piece there. Tap, tap, tap. And then we're going to put our hands. It's ready. Can I shake your hand and say hello? No. Okay, let me stop being silly. All right, next one. Um, so once again, a little strip of glue, just a little bit. We don't need a lot. Then we're going to take that and place that there. And now we've got our hands. And like I said, we'll sit that there to dry. So we just have two more things to do. And we are almost done. So the next thing for our hat, we would like to know where our postal worker works. So we're going to use the United States Postal Service, which is, they usually abbreviate it by USPS. So we're just going to cut out a small rectangle that will fit here like so. And on the small white rectangle, I use blue again, we're going to write U S P S United States Postal Service. And then what we have to do is, you guessed it, we have to glue this to there. So once again, just a little bit of glue. We don't need too much. So just a little bit like that. And then we're going to put it in the center. Just pat, 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 pat it down. Okay, so we've got our hat, we've got our arms, we've got our uh, shirt and tie. Oh, I forgot the last thing, we need shoes. So, um, actually we're gonna put it together first, then we'll add our shoes last. So here's our puppet. 
This is the part that's going to lift up. So that's where we're going to attach our hat. We're going to put our hat up here at the top. So let's grab our hat. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the back here at the bottom. And then we attach it like so. Beautiful. Now it's time to give our postal worker some eyes. Like I said, I have stickers, so we can. I'm gonna use the sticker eyes, but you can draw yours on. You can do whatever you like to give your postal worker eyes. So there we go. We've got eyes. Now we want to draw a nose and a mouth. So we're going to draw a nose and a mouth, a smiley face. My postal worker is happy. Next, it's time to put on our postal worker's uniform. So we're going to put it, uh, the postal worker's uniform underneath the flap so it should fit about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover our bag in glue and then we're going to put a set on top. So this part you do want to put quite a bit of glue on like so. So that should be good enough to hold everything in place. And we're going to put this on and then we're going to press everything down. Okay, so now that we have it attached, I'm going to be very careful because it's not completely dried yet. And we're just going to cut this extra piece off that I mentioned before that we don't need. So let's flip it over and I'm just going to cut the extra piece off. Okay, so like that. So our postal worker is coming along. They're almost done. Um, so the next thing we have to do are the shoes. We can't have them walking around with no shoes. So what we're going to do for shoes is I'm just going to do two circles because I've never been good at drawing um, feet. Or if you don't want to do two circles, you can do what I call are the box feet. So um, go down, over, down, that. So my feet are going to look like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the paper in half, like so, so that when I cut it up, I'll get two. Oops. All right. And we've got our box feet. So now what we have to do is we have to turn that one so it's not backwards. And then we're going to put our feet on and it's going to look like that. Alright, so a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue there. And let's attach our feet. Next, we have to attach our hands. Like so. Need a little bit more on that side. Okay, there we go. And then a little bit of glue on the other side. And I'm going to put the arm up like this so our postal worker is waving. Um, just do a little bit on this side too. So I want to make sure it's staying. So, but I'm going to put it up like that so the postal worker is waving. They're saying, Hello, how are you? So this is my postal worker. And the last thing that I want to do is our postal workers, they deliver mail for us. And, but he, they need to have a letter in their hand. So I'm going to cut another rectangular shape out. And what we're going to do is starting in one corner, we're going to come down to the center like so. And then we're going to go up to the other corner and we've made a triangle, so it's going to look like that. Then on the side, we're going to swoop down like so, and then we're going to swoop down like so on the other side. And now we have a letter. And 
I'm going to put a little glue in our worker's hand that's not waving, and we're going to attach our letter. So here we have our postal worker ready to deliver some mail. So I hope you enjoyed this craft because I had a lot of fun making it. And I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Once again, the library will be closed Monday, September 7th, but we will reopen uh, next week, the regular hours. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 732-222-3900 and we will help you. So thanks again for joining. Bye. Have a good one.